then moved into second place. That's where they got their second place from. Uh, and Great Britain dropped to third at that point. And also we saw Malaysia in recent laps managing to close up to Australia and get past. And that's why we've now got Portugal leading, Ireland in second. The safety car is coming in this lap and we are about to get the restart underway. So, exciting stuff in prospect. Adam Carroll's got to get onto the gearbox of the Portugal car and not let it get away as they come through this turn 11, leading into the final two corners that go on to start finish straight. He's got to get stuck to the bumper, literally now. Floor the throttle, engage power boost, no doubt. Portugal's going to do the same thing. Out of them, all three, the three, four lead cars are all on power boost. Now it's a drag down the straight into turn one. So the race gets underway once again, and it's Portugal leading on power boost. So is Ireland on the attack. No change up front at the moment, but it's tight between them. Great, Great Britain, Britain in trouble. They got a little bit of oversteer in the middle of the corner, and uh, a sort of Switzerland managed to find a way around that career they were car they were having for a lap up of all three cars you can see covered by just over a second yeah this is going to be tight as you say switzerland has managed to get past the mexican car so there's now no car between great britain and switzerland any changes further back i don't think so india still running ninth south africa in 10th place new zealand next up trying to get into the points chris vanderdrift for new zealand but not there at the moment China in that next group they're running in 13th Korea down towards the back that does mean this late safety car that there won't be any other traffic apart from Mexico in the middle of the pack there which has already been passed by the leaders to worry about so it's a straight duel here between Portugal and Team Ireland with Great Britain and Switzerland close by Mexico put into a bit of a slide there caught it Monaco putting the pressure on Australia yeah so Monaco still got plenty of boost Australia got nothing Malaysia got nothing but Malaysia's managed to pull away from Australia and in a sense backing Australia back up into Monaco who are trying to get alongside the Australia car which did you say mention didn't look particularly good back to Ireland yeah on board with Ireland but not on the power boost this time meanwhile further back I wonder if actually USA is catching up to Monaco here uh, I don't know whether USA is using it USA on the attack Marco Andretti trying to do it and behind them it's South Africa going down the inside of India that's for position Adrian Zaub has taken ninth place from the rain car to Kayan. lots of excitement going into turn one two good overtaking maneuvers marginal space but both execute New Zealand not being overtaken by the Netherlands of course that car is a lap down yeah. and uh, New Zealand running in 11th place with Robert Dornbos he may be out of it in terms the results but not giving up driving as hard as he can well i thought marco and Tredi for a moment there was going to get past clivia piccioni of monaco but he didn't quite but behind them adrian Zhao did make the move stick on in team india adrian's uh, car i think definitely been going better in this last stint i think they must have made either a little change to the setup in that final stop he's been putting in some good sector times he looks more confident and he certainly put a move there on the rain car to Cayen to move south africa up into ninth place there's the view from looking back from Team USA. And, uh, Marco Andretti running comfortably, almost comfortably in eighth place. We go back to the lead. Yeah, Philippe Albuquerque doing a solid job, isn't he? So far, that was a big pressure point. The restart, especially with the power boost, and Ireland are on the power boost. Now that's interesting. Ireland on it. Portugal not responding. Adam Carroll, ah, uh, it doesn't work for him, and he's going to be down to one power boost after this. So interesting to see that now maybe some more changes going on as uh, well that Netherlands under attack from in oh no it's Netherlands trying to go around India that's what's going on there remember Netherlands is a lap down yeah Robert Dombos a lot of experience on dirty circuits you racing in the North America uh, managed to keep that car pointing for Nella, or Nicholas Pross who was in a similar situation lost control yeah that's right so uh, pretty brave stuff from Dombos but uh, that's pretty much what we've come to expect already from him he's an attacking style driver there's Marco Andretti in the stars and stripes car with Adrian Zhao tucked in behind him in for South Africa so uh, those two running currently in eighth and ninth places and as I say South Africa looking strong here may well put a mountain attack how are they doing in terms of power boost those two well they've both got a bit left well Adrian Zhao the car moving around quite a lot ran close to the rear wing of the USA car coming through the exit of turn nine now uh, closes back up again as they go into the long turn 11. Yeah, now this is a difficult place to try and close up. You're not going to overtake into the next corner, but what you want to try and do is position yourself for the main straight. Meanwhile, the leaders cross the line, and that's 47 laps completed now as Portugal continues to lead this race. Ireland getting closer on the power boost again, but not close enough to really attack. And Philippe Albuquerque is resisting the pressure. You've got two and a half minutes plus a lap of this race remaining. So it's not going to go the full distance of 50 laps. 
Yep, so they're running out of time now, and Adam Carroll particularly is running out of time to take the double victory here. It would still be a brilliant day for them to have a win and a second place, but Adam Carroll is trying to put the pressure on Philippe Albuquerque, see if there are any cracks. And their team, USA, definitely under pressure from South Africa. They've got the Dutch car in there as well. Monaco, meanwhile, shadowing every move that Australia makes. There they are, just ahead. That's for sixth place. Don't know where to look next. Well, that's very tight all the way through the field front to the back. A lot of defensive driving now being implemented with just over, or just under two minutes, plus that one, that remaining. And two shots of power boost and advantage to Portugal out of them. Only got one left. Great Britain have got three, but they're not going to be close enough for some three and a half seconds from the lead car. Look how close Adam Carroll is this time out of the chicane. But does he have any power boost? He has one and he's on it. He's on the power boost. Surely this is his last real attempt. And Portugal, are they responding? No. no. Don't understand why not. They should do because Adam Carroll's coming on down the outside. Can he get far enough ahead to take the position? No, he can't. And he's on the outside of the dirty part of the racetrack. Got to be careful as we've seen. He can't quite do it. Had a go there. Tried to go around the outside. Oh consternation in Team Portugal as they thought for a moment that Adam Carroll had timed it right but Philippe Albuquerque was late and deep on the brakes and managed to fend him off great stuff from both drivers both stay on the tarmac and at the moment Philippe Albuquerque is resisting everything that Adam Carroll throws at him I mean he didn't use power boost Ireland did give Alan the run but he got the inside of the corner and that gave him the opportunity to stick then to force Ireland to go the long way around Portugal knowing that the long way round was a dirty way round and the chances of getting that pass executed was not very strong. Great Britain still in third place, Switzerland in fourth, Malaysia holding on to fifth place and looking at leading the points going to their home race. That's going to be quite something. Remember, you can keep up to date with everything that's happening with A1 at a1gp.com. Live timing and scoring as well and all the news on what's coming up next in the series. Sepang in Malaysia is the next race and that's going to be a good one. But look at this battle still on between Portugal and Ireland. Portugal's using its last shot of power boost to stretch that lead Die in one another, 20, 30 metres going into turn one, and he gives himself that comfortable margin. No more challenge from Ireland available under power boost. It's going to come down to the last lap. Monaco on the attack for Australia's position. That is for six. Clivio Piccioni moving one way, then the other. Might have a bit more grip on the inside as John Martin tries to defend, but there's surely no way to do it down into turn three. No, that was very good effort attempt by Clivio Piccioni, but John Martin again had it covered. Meanwhile, Marco Andretti has got the raging Roberts behind him. Robert Dornbos, who's still just trying to pick him off. It doesn't make any difference to his position, really. He's down in 16th, the lap down, but he's going to try and get fast. Yeah, but he got a, he's got a head of South Africa. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's got one. Well, he's really driven superbly. Such a shame that he stalled at the start. Without that, I think we'd have seen him featuring for a possible podium finish. Yeah, the point is that uh, USA was under threat from South Africa, and that threat's just evaporated. Yep, yep, that's uh, certainly broken up that battle hasn't it look at Adam still very quick and they're coming around this time they'll be going on to their final lap here Philippe Albuquerque has so far resisted Adam Carroll but is he going to do it this time as they come on to the main straight neither of them have any power boost to use they're going to come across the line and go on to their final lap all I see across the line they go and uh, it's still Adam Carroll attacking and trying to take that position from Philippe Albuquerque but Albuquerque has it under control now towards turn three they go then. Philippe Albuquerque looking for the first ever A1 GP victory for Portugal. And remember, there's going to be a Portuguese race as part of this season four campaign. What a way it would be. I mean, that's in the second half of the season, John, but still it would be massively important to go there with at least a victory. Yes, and also going to a fantastic new facility in Portimao. Again, this battle with John Martin and, and Monaco getting very close indeed as they come out of turn three. Absolutely, and USA not far behind, you know, that this could still change here, but we're on the final lap, they're all running out of time to make any changes, Adam Carroll surely not close enough to put the pressure on uh, Portugal anymore, Philippe Albuquerque has driven absolutely brilliantly here today, and it does look as though Portugal's going to hold on to take their first ever victory, they've had second places in the past, and he himself has finished second, but Philippe Albuquerque takes A1 Team Portugal's first ever win in the series, a fantastic drive from him, also from Adam Carroll, with a win and a second place here today in Chengdu, and third, another podium goes to Danny Watts for Team GBR, Switzerland has to settle for fourth, Malaysia comes home. Yes, outstanding drive from 
Philippe Albuquerque got the lead through great pit work and consulted under threat for the second half of the race all the way from Ireland and uh, 